I just woke up, uh, haven't even showered yet, so I'm still nice and ripe. I found a video in the deep dark corners of the internet, hidden from sight. I don't know why it doesn't have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views. It's, it's without doubt the most perfectly choreographed sword fight I for one have ever seen. I'm going to show it to you guys, tell you what I think. Prepare to be amazed. Here we go. It's from an old school TV show called Hawk the Slayer. Let's get into it. Okay. So... So if I was going to attack someone, I would probably prefer that they don't know that I'm going to do it. Or at least how I'm going to do it. And I would find the best way to do that to not pull the sword all the way back over here and yell as loud as I can because that's that's kind of telling him uh... it's subtle but it's 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 there it's his way of going you know I'm gonna attack you I'm glad as well that they slowed this footage down because I have a feeling that if this was running at normal speed it would just be too fast for the human eye to actually, you know, interpret what's going on. It would just all be a blur. That is a good cling sound. And look at his stance. That is a powerful stance that he's got there. This guy's got, is that like a, he's got an actual cross cross guard. That's genius. Why did nobody ever think of that? That looks amazing. He didn't just go for the side rings. He's got an actual cross. I know I'm one to talk, but I mean, look at that hairstyle. That's majestic. Why do people still not do that? You know? All I need to do is sort of cut the sides of mine and then just straight across to the fringe up here. But it's not just that. It's the look in his eyes. That's the look of a man who's seen some shit. Oh, he's going in for a thrust. Did you guys see that decorative hill? That thing is amazing. I guess in this world, the amount of power your sword has is dependent on the size of your hilt decoration. You can't defeat me, boy. Witness the fear-inspiring scale of my pummel. <laughs> your pummel is mighty indeed, but it is nothing when compared to the colossal size of mine. No! He's knocked him back. Oh, pushed into a pillar. He's making you look like a bitch. Slight design flaw with that helmet. It's covering one eye. It looks like it would be next to impossible to see out of that. There's a chance this character may have only one eye, so it's not a problem that that one's covered. But if so, why is it not just solid armor? He's got some serious balls going in, fighting against this majestic beast with only one eye. That's, that's brave. He's loading up that strike. Look how far back he's bringing the sword. If we're honest, instead of just standing all casual, this guy, I'm guessing he's Hawk. Hawk should just like stab him, you know, in the opening, just, just stab him. You know, he's, he's going like this. He's got his sword behind him, getting ready to attack you, man. Just, you know, just, just stab him. That's what we're here for. You're here to try and stab each other. Fight done. You get to go home and, I don't know, blow dry your hair. Damn, you just got parried, man. Look, seriously, look at the size of that gem on that sword. So he's hit his sword and knocked him off balance. This would be a good time to quickly Throw in a strike. Yeah. I bet that's what he's gonna do. I was wrong! See, I, oh, the guy in the helmet decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go for a spin move. 
totally fuck with this guy. I am within sword range. This guy could easily kill me. This is the ideal time. Do a quick twirl. Do a quick twirl. Really fuck with his head. Wouldn't you believe it? He saw it coming. This guy, the whole fight, has pretty much not moved his arms beyond doing this. And he's just, he's just kicking his ass. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I gotta watch that again. Yeah, okay. The guy in black swings his sword and is already totally going down this guy's shoulder and yet he chooses to intervene with the blade instead of just slitting his throat he's wide open he's going like this missing you good idea will be to reach up to stop the sword don't worry about him even though it was it was going that way anyway what <sighs> he must know what he's doing He's, he, he is doing something that I can't understand, that us mere mortals cannot get. This, he, he knows. I'm doubting now, but I, I'm about to find out why I'm wrong. The hair is flowing, the gem is glowing, and the room is full of dead men. Is he still alive? If, if he's still alive, why isn't he helping? This guy's style is impeccable. He looks amazing. I'm not gonna criticize that, obviously. He's got the hair, he's got the bracelets, he's got the leather trousers, but he might have considered wearing some armor. He's holding the sword kind of like this, it's almost behind him. And I would really probably rather put it between me and the enemy, especially, although I'm saying that, this guy, this guy telegraphs his attacks like a month ago. I could have the sword on the floor, pick it up and stop an attack from this guy. No worries. He's got you. He probably should have done this last time when the guy in black did the exact same overhead attack, but he didn't. He was waiting until the ideal moment, making a fool out of this guy, but he's got him now. Sword cut straight to the gut. Honestly, if they hadn't slowed this fight down, we would have just, just blurs. 